So we have our sources, okay? We have three sources, and we have our markets. We have the markets here, okay? And we see the demand. It is how much we will ship from this source to our new location, okay? And for all of them. So that's what uh, are the Ds, and these are the associated costs, okay? So how much it will cost from per, yeah, USD per ton mile from Buffalo to our new location, okay? And these coordinates, X, Y coordinates, I don't know actually from where they got it, but how can you get the X, Y coordinates? Let's see if it works. my location so these are my coordinates I don't know if it will work or not okay you can play later using uh, these coordinates let's remove these two values do you have these values let's remove them ha let's have a quick look in 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 this cell uh, g5 it's just the equation of geometric distance that we were talking about. So just have a close look just to see if you understand. It takes the distance between the x coordinate of our new location and our existing locations, right? So it takes so B16. B16 is our new location and E5. E5 is our location here, right? This cell. So it takes the difference between do, these two and then takes the square of it plus again the y coordinate of our new location which is here this cell here which means b17 so b17 minus f5 this one the location of y coordinate of buffalo and then we take the square of it and the sum of these two is we take the square root of that okay so that's our dn and then we could just calculate it for all of them. You could just drag and we get the coordinates for all of them. And here, this is the cost function. So how, how, how does our cost function look like? We can see it here on the top. So we are taking the sum product of G5 to, where is G? All the distances, okay? Multiplied with, multiplied and taken sum with uh, D is here, how much we are transporting and how much is the cost per power unit of transport, right? So that's the, that's the cost that we want to find out, okay? And it's, uh, yeah, quite simple. If you just go to solver, then you select this file here, what do you want to minimize? This one, cost. And you said that you want to minimize it by changing variables. Which ones you want to change? X and Y. These ones are the ones we want to change, right? And here we don't really have any other constraints. Do we? Not really. For now, no. We can add up if we want, but we don't really have. But here you see we are using the GRG nonlinear uh, solver when we take the geometric distance it does not follow linear function right so we have to take nonlinear uh, function and then you just click solve and then you get the result what did i do which one am i solving oh yeah i'm getting it here so now i just did the plot uh, just to see like these ones are my existing locations and this is my new location. Okay, try to create this plot for you guys as well. It's it's fun to see it. So just select select these two, so this x and y coordinates, and then go here and put a scatter plot, and then it should look like this, right? You have the same, yeah. And just to make it look nicer, you can select. Yeah, I took the black one. Or blue one you can take whatever you want and where can you put this new one new locations how can you add that if I just go here select data and I click add and I say my x value is this cell and my y value is 
this cell. Okay? So, and then okay. And then okay. And you can maybe try to make it something different. Um, I mean, bigger or smaller, something like that. So that it's more visible. visible. So let's say I make it like really big. Yeah. So now. But now, okay, we see that, okay, we could find the point. But now let's do some change. Let's make this 700 here in St. Louis to, let's say, in 2000. And then so solve it again. Go to data, solver. We don't have to do anything. We just click solve. And then we click OK. So what happened? Our new location moved, right? So when you have this picture, this is something fun to see. You can see very easily how it is moving. Okay? So that's, that's a bit fun thing. So what is happening here is that the demand in this location is so high, it is saying that, okay, put my new location close to it. If possible, even exactly on that place. Okay? So that's what we are saying here. You can play with it with different numbers, different cost values, and see how things work. 